Jody Khan. Welcome to Be My Guest. The program which brings you successful stories of entrepreneurs and organizations in both domestic and international arenas. I'm Sir Roshara Tanapian. And so now, Pat International Design Institute, whose international and Thai lecturers have been producing a high number of Thai top fashion, product and interior designers, has hosted an exhibition to showcase their students' masterpieces in design in different fields. So in these episodes of the program, we'll explore together the concepts of the exhibition and how good designs are accomplished and conveyed by the designer's concepts and inspiration. Design lecturer of CIDI, Sweaty Cat. So, first of all, I guess you know our viewers really want to know you. So, could you introduce yourself a bit to our fans? Uh, my name is Carlo from Italy, and I, uh, I live in Bangkok for two years now. Uh, the main reason is to work as an interior and product design uh, lecturer. I also do furniture design and photography but my full-time job is uh, lecturing for CIDI. Oh, okay. Talking about the program that you are teaching students right now, so can you elaborate more about that? Uh, well, when you enroll in CIDI, basically uh, you enroll in a two years program. Uh, everything starts usually, we have summer courses uh, in July and August. And after that in September you start the first semester, then we have the second, the third and fourth semester. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's two years, it's usually you can choose in between weekend courses and uh, Monday and Tuesday. Of course this is for people that maybe have jobs and they want to still be able to take uh, a design class. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are there any criteria for students who can enroll in CIDI, it's product design or interior design programs? Well, uh, that's a good question because uh, it's very important to know, I think, that um, CIDI, the design and also the interior design and the fashion design programs are open to technically anyone because uh, you don't really have to have a, a design background. Um, in fact, I would say that probably 80% of my students don't have any mm. kind of design background and they just uh, start from scratch, basically. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty open to, to everybody. I would say that I would mention the fact that the program is in English, mm. it's not in Thai. As you can imagine, I, I don't speak Thai, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's very important to, to mention this, I guess. Oh, All the okay. classes are in Thai. I see. Okay, yeah. so could you wrap up a bit on the qualifications of students who can enroll? you know, in the product and interior design courses? Uh, you don't really need to have uh, a degree or uh, any other qualification in design, really, no. Mm. So what students can learn when they join the CIDI program? Uh, well, you need to be, uh, I guess, 18 plus and that's uh -huh. it. You don't, okay. you don't need to have a, a degree or mm. anything like that. Okay. You can come straight from high school. I see. Because okay. it's a diploma uh, course, so you, ah. can, you can take it, yes. So it's interesting to know now uh, what in terms of experiences that students can learn when they join the program. Well, the, the program is uh, two years long and we have, uh, I think, more than 30 different courses uh, in the interior program. And uh, you can start from very basic things, like you really learn the basics such as uh, free and drawing, to sketch, things mm. like that. And then uh, little by little you learn more uh, specific skills and of course uh, more advanced skills. Uh, so you move from, I don't know, drawing by hands to drawing with the computer and then you, you, the next step is to apply all of these things into projects. Uh, mm. That's the real, I think, the real core of the, mm. of the courses when you actually start designing things. Oh, okay. But before you get there you need um, to learn some basic skills. Design has a, uh, is really a, like a collection of many different things, including knowledge about materials, uh, 
uh, and then of course when you go on uh, you have to learn also how to deal with clients and how to deal with uh, manufacturing companies and so forth and so on it's really very rich uh, so and we we usually take the students from really from scratch they start learning little by little and they uh, if they put themselves into it uh, they will get better and better by by the end of the, the course okay and you know from your experiences so have you observed any challenges you know um, in learning this course you know as it's really new okay and it can be done by beginners uh, well that's probably the biggest challenge especially for people that really uh, never did anything like this but for for some I don't know personal reasons they really uh, want to try it is challenging I cannot lie to you it's uh, it can be quite challenging but of course we uh, we do it in a way we teach it in a way where uh, we really help them a lot there's a lot of uh, let's say extra extra classes time that we need to spend with the students in order to, to help them because they need help they need to I mean we really need to be next to them all the time otherwise uh, it's pointless to, to, to study I see. you can just you know tell them we have to design this and leave I see uh, we need to be there with them as much as we can oh, okay so students can gain loads of you know knowledge and also experiences you know through practice and also a theory as well okay of how to design and what about your experiences as a teacher here at CIDI? Uh, well, one of the reasons why I do this job, I guess, is because I, I really enjoy to challenge myself by being in a situation where, of course, uh, I, I deal with a very diverse culture and uh, I need to somehow adapt and, you know, learn from the people I work with. Uh, because that's what happens when you, you know, you're not in your own culture, in your own context, and you need to put yourself out there. Uh, and I think in time I learned to appreciate it a lot because, uh, I mean, personally for me, uh, doing being a teacher is also a way of doing design because, uh, of course, I share what I what I know as a designer, and and, and that's what I bring on the table, but. Um, I think I also learned something from them. Uh, of course, I learned a lot of things about Thailand, including the language, because they they always want to teach me Thai mm -hmm. all the time. So, in fact, they call me Arjan. They don't call me teacher. Uh -huh. That's not the way. Uh, and I and I appreciate that. Uh, but it is challenging for me as well sometimes because um, sometimes there's a gap in between what I have to do in order to communicate with the students. And I need to figure out mm. how to get there because, I mean, when you are a teacher, one of the most important things that you have to do is to be able to communicate to, I don't know, 100 people. And it's very hard and I know that I will never get like 100%, but uh, I do my best to get as close as possible to that. Okay. Sometimes I fail, I guess, but... Uh -huh. That's the way it is. Okay, so you are getting better and better in communicating yeah, yeah, of course. with yeah, students. Yeah. Okay, I'm still yeah, yeah, we, we, we really have a, a relationship. You, you build it from the first day. And I can tell after the first semester, second semester, you, I see how they feel more comfortable with me. I, I can remember their names, which is a you know, big mm. deal for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, they feel more relaxed. They, they talk to me more about whatever is going on. In the beginning, there's a lot of, uh, they feel shy, they don't uh -huh. want to, you know, it's, there is this kind of separation with the teacher, okay. but I work on that a lot to, okay. to, to get as close as possible to them. So as a teacher, you also learn new things in Thailand as well, okay. And apart from teaching, you have also, you know, hosted an event, which is an exhibition at CID as well. So could you tell us more about that? Well, uh, we had an exhibition at Siam Center from uh, 23 to 27 of June. And this is, uh, let's say, the, the final step, the final stage of studying a CIDI. After two years, they basically, um, what we do in this exhibition is to showcase the students' work, uh, the graduating students' work. And um, this was uh, a very important event for, for all of us. Uh, most importantly because uh, this year is the 15th anniversary 
of CIDI. So we, we really want to do a good impression on, um, on what we are doing, uh, also where we want to go in the future. Mm, okay, so what is the theme of this year's events? Uh, well, every, every year we have a different theme. Uh, this year's theme is higher, bigger and louder which, of course, I need to explain because it probably is a little bit too general. Well, the idea behind it is that um, it's a little bit the point where the college is right now, uh, where we want to grow, we want to move to the next level. And uh, this idea of higher, bigger and louder is uh, kind of pointing in a certain direction that the college wants to go. Because after 15 years, of course, we are, uh, I mean, I've been working with them for two years, of course, mm. but I kind of learn from their culture and I feel part of the family. Uh, they, they are happy. We are all happy with how things are going, but, uh, you know, you need to get better. There's no way around it. Okay, so how many projects have, you know, been participating in the exhibition? Uh, well, okay, I need to do a couple of calculations because we have uh, 53 students. Uh, every student is showcasing two to three projects. Mm. And plus we have also like one-to-one -one scale models uh, and smaller prototypes because every class that we do, uh, well, most of the classes we do, we always produce prototypes because it's one of the most important mm. things to to, to make something when you design something. Okay. You can't just, when it's on paper, things are not really real, if you know what I mean. It's, it's only when you start playing with the materials that you really get a feeling of what you're doing. Uh, so we, we showcase also these small models as well. Okay, so are there only interior design projects or are there really also a product design? Uh, well, we teach both. We, mm. we teach interior and product okay. design. And also we have furniture classes as well. I see. So, so students can choose then? Uh, no, students have to take all the classes. I see. Uh, this is a very tricky question because uh, in a way um, I have students that for instance tell me, look I love interior design but I'm not really into furniture design. And for me it's very difficult to communicate to them that uh, what you are learning is not specifically interior or furniture. Mm but you are learning to be a designer, which is kind of much bigger goal than um, just focusing on one thing. Of course, later on you will choose. Uh, you will choose if you want to go into one field or the other, but I think that's a choice you should make later. Mm. Because in the, when you are studying, you are learning a system, you're learning um, a mindset. That's that's what you learn. I see. The mindset of a designer. Yeah. Okay. But for now, it's time for a short break. We'll right back. We'll learn more on some masterpieces projects of students of CIDI. So please stay tuned and be my guest.